some martial artists will add resistance to their striking techniques via the use of elastic resistance in order to improve the speed and power of said striking techniques. Is this an effective training method to improve their striking power? Let's look at what research we can get to find out. One study from 2011 recruited Taekwondo athletes and looked at the effects of adding elastic resistance to kicking techniques during training and measured changes in kicking impact force before and after the training period. It compared six weeks of training three times a week with either a light resistance band attached to the ankle whilst kicking, a heavier resistance band, or a control group that had no added resistance through elastic bands whilst training kicks. It found that training with the addition of elastic bands generally improved kicking impact force more favourably than training without. Both levels of resistance bands seemed to be similarly effective. However, increases in kicking force for the turning kick were more significant in the group using the heavier band. Perhaps because the amount of power generated during a turning kick is likely greater, the heavier band is required to provide a more positive training stimulus. These findings mirror the results of a study from 2008 that found adding Taekwondo specific elastic resistance training increased kicking velocity during a turning kick significantly after four weeks. The increase was an average 7% increase in turning kick velocity, whilst no significant increase was observed for the group that just performed standard training. Perhaps another way to use kicking with elastic resistance in training would be to incorporate it into a warm-up. A study from 2016 found that incorporating kicking with elastic resistance into a warm-up increased kicking velocity by 3.3% in a mix of kickboxers and taekwondo practitioners. It doesn't sound huge, but it was found to be a significant increase. Bear in mind that kicking speed was tested 5-8 to eight minutes after the elastic resistance warm-up strategy, so this may not be time efficient for most training warm-ups. It also isn't known whether this potentiating effect would last throughout a training session or whether or not training in this state long term would be superior. So with the little research looking at kicks, there seems to be some positive benefits for this type of training. But what about punching techniques? After some time searching, I could only find one study examining the effects of training punching with elastic resistance on performers. It found that when a mix of elite junior boxers, kickboxers and savat athletes added 15 minutes of training the jab against elastic resistance three times per week. There was a significant improvement in jab velocity of between 6 to 11%. This wasn't found in the control group. All in all, there is little research looking at adding elastic resistance to striking techniques during training. But what little research there is tends to show some positive effects. That being said, it's important to say a few things. Firstly, all studies looked at trained subjects in their respective martial arts. Adding resistance to less well-trained individuals who are unfamiliar with the techniques may not be appropriate. Secondly, the resistance should be appropriate. Adding elastic resistance in a way that significantly changes the qualities of the movement, either due to too much resistance or poorly attached resistance, may be counterproductive. Thirdly, it isn't known whether these results can be extrapolated to different martial arts. Similar techniques in different martial arts can have different kinematic and kinetic qualities, so more research would be needed to know how elastic resistance affects the quality of techniques in a range of martial arts. Another final point to make is that recovering the punch or kick from the target is also of great importance. Training with a band that assists that recovery may make an individual worse at recovering their stance after a kick or punch, However, this can't be said for certain as there is no research examining this outcome.